give Josh Paul, also from Green Valley. Double zero, Kenton Cardi. Green flag flies, Keith Myers from Green Valley. Toby Duncan, the 87 junior, and Jason Easley in the double zero. Flag flies. Josh Paul struggling to get back into second, and there he goes. Jeremy Curlis in third. Curlis coming back to race with him. Sean Burns on the top, looking good. Josh Paul in second. As Sean Burns stretches out that lead, but here's Doug Brisbane and Jeremy Curlis race within a race battling for third. And ultimately the championship. Doug Brisbane with the upper hand on championship hope. White flag about to fly. Checkered flags are flying. Next time around, there we go. Sean Burns putting a lap on a couple of guys. 
as he's your winner and Doug Brisbane across the flags ahead of Jeremy Curless. High flying photos start. Number eight. We'll get a word with Sean. Congratulations. Man, this is this is it's pleasant, but it's kinda, you know, repetitious. Seeing you down here in Victory Lane. Uh, you're a happy guy. Well, that's my first twofer. Uh, your first twofer. My first twofer, my first two in a row. So uh, uh did it oh, I shouldn't say that. I did it earlier in the year at CMS in Lakeside. Um, we just we've got this place kind of figured out. So car's moving pretty good, uh, pretty happy. Pretty happy to be here. So. Well, I'd say you got it figured out. Let's hear it for Sean Burns. Once again, Central Auto Racing Boosters President Sean Burns. This is a very, very special moment that took a whole season to accumulate. It's been a drama within a, a race every week between you and Jeremy Curlis. How do you feel? You're the points champion. I've been... Uh nervous all week long i just break in the car or something like that and i was just so glad just to have a smooth race and get through it and win it it's been a lot of work well congratulations to you doug brisbane you are the 2018 emod champion at valley school watch for the green flag here it flies for bobby owenberg alan anders DJ Barnes, look at him go into turn one, three abreast. Alan Anders on the high side takes the lead away from Orenberg. DJ Barnes in third. Now Orenberg back in the lead. Barnes going for second. Alan Anders racing him hard. Anders is still in second. Darren Christie back there in the three, his hands full of race car, other drivers around him as well. Trouble down here, 21 takes Christie down into the infield. This will allow the drivers to regroup. Close will take, green flag flies. DJ Barnes on the bottom, look at this kid drive. Bobby Orenberg on the gas. The number zero one out in front. Watch Alan Anders pick him off. The number 15A back to the front. He says no problem. Darren Christie in front of him in the orange three. Bobby Orenberg in the zero one, your leader. Here comes Anders in a super fast car. Look at him in the 15. Darren Christie, veteran driver, the door on Anders. See if that happens this time. Anders not with the run that he had in the previous lap. Now DJ Barnes challenges Owenberg for the lead. Lap six as they come around, a 15 lap feature. Owenberg, Barnes. Headley in third. Christie and Anders. The top five. The 21 and the 23 make up the rear. Zero one, your leader. Here comes DJ Barnes to challenge. Driving a great race. He's only 13 years old. Look at him drive. Here comes the 11. Logan Headley. Little bit of contact there. Logan in third. He wants second.
Five laps to go. Anders seemed to have stalemated behind the number three of Christy. Bobby Orenberg really looking like a feature winner to me. As he's got DJ challenging. But Orenberg is strong. Now DJ still in there. Won't go away. That DJ Barnes after another feature win. He wants it bad on championship night. As he is a place in points. The 15A car, your point leader. Uh, white flag flies. Oberg, Barnes. Headley, Christie, Anders. Here comes DJ Barnes to challenge for the win. Checkers fly Bobby Owenberg. DJ Barnes, Headley, Christy, and Anders. Great supporters coming down here to congratulate be in photos. High flying. <laughs> Victory Lane. High flying photos.com. Cody Owenberg joins the, the photo. Last feature event of the year. I heard Bobby say he lost a clutch. Were you were you driving stuck in the race gear? Yes, uh, it's slipping real bad, so I just had to ease on the throttle. But you won somehow. Did you? DJ Barnes came up right there, really challenged you. Were you slowing down? Yes, I was. It was slipping so bad in the corners, I couldn't get off the corner. So hopefully we can get in the pits. Well, you know, a good thing is, is the race season's over, so you got all winter to change that clutch. Uh, you know, the race fans may not have comprehended, but halfway through the year, you turned over the card, the 23 car to Cody. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, we brought it out here for him to play with, and uh, I had to test it first. <laughs> well, great. Congratulations, Victory Lane, Bobby Orenberg. Now we're going to talk to the points champion, make him smile, Alan Anders. I know he'll have something to say. That's going to be a great photo for the mantle, man. You got the points championship here at Valley Speedway. You got to be happy. Everybody that helped out, uh, my mom and my stepdad and Hemp Works on the car for helping out. And uh, I want to thank my dad a whole lot for helping out. And it was a long, hard season. I went through seven motors and a second car, and I gave it everything she had tonight. I guess I was jumping the start a little early, but it was still a fun night. I appreciate everybody for coming out tonight. Thank you. All right, congratulations to you, Alan. And I'm sure we'll see that car back again next year. And no doubt, many Victory Lane photos will be in store for Alan Anders. The green flag once again. And he's back there in fourth, kind of waiting it out. While Steve McDowell leads this event. Team 
Jimmy Gow, Jeremy Price, Jeremy Lyle. Gene Claxton. Craig Maple behind Claxton. turn two. Yellow light on, driver slowing. This will close up some gaps to make the end of this race spectacular. Race fans, it's hammer time. McDowell, Price. They're racing into turn three and four. Something's going to happen. Claxton side by side with Lyle and now with Price. Price pulls ahead in second. Claxton wanting to finish this event, if not win it. Doing so, he'll be the track champion of 2018 in the B Mods. Steve McDowell out in front. Yellow is out on the back, well, on the back stretch is where the yellow light is, but right by that yellow light coming out of turn two, that's where problems develop. Green flag flies. back. Steve McDowell, Jeremy Price, Gene Claxton, one, two, and three.
Here's Claxton, tries the high side. Price goes to the bottom. There's that treacherous turn two. Claxton nosing in the second spot. Price shooting that down. Claxton challenging strong. Let's hear it for Chris and Cole. <laughs> Seventh row inside, Chad Freewalt. Chad Goff, the number nine, your point leader. We rumble down into 
the east end of the track, now to the west with 51 Mitchell Moore out in front. Chad Ty, Chad Goff, several Chads, Chad Freewalt as well in this event. Pick a Chad. Mitchell Moore, your leader, Cody Baker in second. Chad Ty in third. And we are racing and racing hard at Valley Speedway. Cody Baker. J.D. Black has passed Chad Ty. Racing into fourth. Number 93 comes Jack Wagner past Chad Ty. Now Brad Ryan racing in the number 12. Trey Drop also battling in the 54. There's a lot of fun, folks, in this feature event. battling course I think it's right yeah, for Rodden, 93 slowing Mitchell Moore has gone all season long and he wants to win the yellow 51 out in front Cody Baker in the 38 on the bottom side of the racetrack. Jack Wagner right there with Baker. Wagner takes second away from Cody Baker. Here comes Trey Gropp in fourth. Car up on the high side with problems. It is one of our Chads, Chad Freewalt. Mitchell Moore, Edgerton, Kansas driver. Driving for Kelly Potter. Well maintained race car. Green flag flies! Jack Hockett, the owner of the 77. Driver Jack Wagner in second. Ted Hall, owner of the 38. Cody Baker, we have a yellow. I think we had a cone infraction. flag flies man-sized race as we go into turn three Jack Wagner on the bottom oh look at this Cody Baker goes to the bottom Cody Baker calculating driver wants to win Jack Wagner down Headed for Mitchell Moore. 
And here comes Trey Graff in the 54. Bradley Ryan in the 12. around Jack Wagner Wagner racing him back Mitchell Moore in the number 51 is your leader hang in tough now we've got lap traffic Mitchell Moore getting past Christy Thomason. Here comes Cody Baker as well. Trey drop right behind Jack Wagner. Just waiting for an opportunity to take that spot. Here comes Chris Parkinson. Mitchell Moore still leading. Cody Baker closing that gap little by little. Possibly not enough to win. Now Mitchell Moore changing lines. Mitchell Moore on the bottom in one and two. High in three and four. Cody Baker down into the infield. He will not win tonight. Something broke. The car may have come out of gear. The motor may have died. It's something simple because sprint cars are simple. A little quarter mile racetrack. Green flag flies for the 51 of Mitchell Moore. Jack Wagner on the outside. Look at that. Going for the lead. Now he's on the bottom. He's everywhere. Jack Wagner briefly takes the wheat lead from Mitchell Moore. Now he may be in the lead with Trey Agrop. Coming strong on the high side as well with 54. Coming for the white flag. Mitchell Moore, Trey Drop. White flag. Checkers now for Jack Wagner. Mitchell Moore, Trey Drop. Chris Parkinson. Awesome race. We're going to go down and talk to the winner and our points champion as he will stop on the front stretch, we hope. He's got his head off. Let's hear it. Feature winner tonight, Jack Wagner. Wow, this is a very special night for Jack Wagner. He's, he's so excited.
first win. <laughs> We're going to get some pictures of Jack Wagner in Victory Lane by HighFlyingPhotos.com. We're going to get this one here. Jack Hockett and crew joining in Victory Lane. And this is a team well deserving of a victory tonight. As they are all about as happy as you can get. Yeah, make them smile. Jack Wagner. Victory Lane. Everyone's going to get back behind the car for another mounted uh, mantle photo from highflyingphotos.com. Got quite a crew down there. There we go. Back where it belongs. <laughs> Couple other races to go. Sam Wagner joining there with Victory Lane photos. All right, right here, everyone. Everyone's got such a big smile. That is a great photo. We're going to go up here and talk to the winner. Hey, Jack, congratulations. Man, you've had a rough year. And I'm sure it's all worthwhile. You are very excited. Can you tell about your season and what happened tonight? There's been so many ups and downs, and I don't know if anybody was there that night, but you see that pole knocked down there in three? That was this car at the beginning of the season. We have had so many downs. We finally started climbing back up around June, and it's about time that this 77 Jesse Hockey car finally got back into victory lane. Now, I heard some talk around. Is, is tonight a very special as far as numbers go? You can say that. This is my first sprint car win. <laughs> Let's hear it for Jack Wagner. First sprint car win forever and ever. Man, you did a great job tonight, Jack. Congratulations. We will go down another photo in Victory Lane. Highflyingphotos.com. Chad Goff is your 2018 Valley Power Eye Outlaw Sprint Champion. Let's give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Another team where hard work has paid off. Tonight they're in championship form. We're going to talk to Chad. Congratulations, Chad. Man, it has been a fantastic year for you. I mean, there's been nights when you just flat dominated. Tonight, the racetrack was, as I said, the best it's ever been. Do you agree? I agree. The track was really good tonight. We clinched a championship a few weeks ago, and I've been trying a few things with the car, and obviously they're not working real good. And We kind of threw something at it for the feature there, and it, it really came alive, and I thought we were going to move up pretty good, and it started slicking off on the top and just start making our forward progress. But really proud of this team that's standing behind me all year. Uh, we've, we've had some really good luck this year, ran well. Best, best season of my career, nothing more I can ask them for Dennis to have us here every week. Wonderful. Nicely said. Congratulations. This here for two champion, Chad Goff. Spring championship at stake here as well. Green flag flies. Jason McCulley. Outside of that front row goes in chasing Ty Williams. Robert Logering in the 21. The PT Cruiser really running hot tonight. Down on the bottom, 
He's going for that second spot. Cody Munkers in the 15C. Chasing the boys around the track in fourth position. And here comes Richard McCauley in the 19. Jason McCauley borrowed a car last week to keep his point standings up. Here he is in second going for that championship run tonight. He picks up the right rear wheel. If you'll watch him sometimes down here in one. Jason McCulley really running strong tonight in that number 13. Oh my gosh. Oh, debris on the track in turn three. Definitely yellow comes out. Going to bring them to the green flag. It's time to go racing. All right, behind him there. Woo, Richard McCulley giving Jason a love tap. Watch the, ooh, well, man, what a race we've got here. The 13 and the 19. Jason and Richard McCauley. Ty Williams bobbling. There goes Jason McCauley past, but a yellow may come out. It looks like Ty Williams has it under control. Going to the pits. Green flag still out. Jason McCauley, Richard McCauley, right on his tail. They've been this way in points all summer long. Only 26 points separates them. Oh, look at this. Side by side down the back chute. Brother in love. Jason McCauley squeaks it out. He's still your leader. All classes tonight. Very exciting racing with Jason McCauley leading this Dirt Demon feature. No tire on the 05. No right front tire. Down here in turn three and four, that's where the action is. Jason McCauley leading this event. Richard right behind him. After this event are ATVs and bike races. Jason McCauley, Richard McCauley, first and second. Cody Munkers back there in third. Robert Logring in fourth. Now side by side once again, the 13 and the 19. White flag. Final lap, Jason McCauley will pull off another twofer tonight. He's a half a lap away from winning the championship and this feature. Checkers fly, Jason McCauley, your winner.
Cheeseworks video on Facebook and YouTube. Our local media here to celebrate with the McCauley family. Let's hear it for Jason McCauley. He's definitely got a Halloweenish car. He carries Jason figure there on the passenger side. Is that your inner demon there and your dirt demon? Well, my name is Jason, and I was born on Friday the 13th, so. <laughs> How significant. He's also your champion. And we know this is our new 2018 Valley Speedway Dirt Demon Championship driver, Jason McCulley. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Happy Halloween, by the way. You got any words to say to your brother? Uh, thanks for letting me win that one, I guess. <laughs> I don't think he'd let you win. <laughs> Race fans, great family drama here at Valley Speedway. We thank you for coming. Staying around here. Stay around if you'd like for some ATV action and some bike racing here on the infield. Quickly run.